this is Kevin with softwaremedia.com and this is a brief tutorial of getting started with the new AutoCAD LT 2010. Now if you are new to AutoCAD or if you haven't used a new version of AutoCAD in a while you'll notice that the 2010 version uh, looks quite different than the old versions of AutoCAD. The main thing you'll notice is what's called the ribbon, which has these panels which uh, contain all of the major functions that you can access in AutoCAD LT. Uh, it has these tabs at the top that bring up the different panels, and then on the individual panels, such as the drawing panel over here, you can hit the flyout menu and see additional commands. You can also drag these individual panels out into the workspace here just by holding your mouse down and dragging. You can expand them out and drag them wherever you'd like in your workspace. You can also drag them back up into the panel uh, any place you'd like. Uh, all of these panels are fully customizable and you can add and remove buttons as you'd like. Uh, the second thing you'll probably notice that's really different uh, from the older versions of AutoCAD is the application menu, this large A in the top left. It also has the great new export to PDF button, which has been improved, uh, much greater flexibility in the types of PDFs you can export. It also has this great uh, dynamic search tool up here, so it'll uh, update your search results as you type. So if you type in line, it'll start customizing your search results for any commands that are related to lines. Uh, it's very helpful when learning AutoCAD LT or just trying to find a command that you uh, forgot. Now that I've shown you how to get around in AutoCAD LT 2010, what I'm going to do is just walk you through some basic commands so you can get started drawing right away. So if you've never used AutoCAD before, one of the most basic tools uh, you can use is the line command. You can either click on the line like I just did there or you can type line uh, down in the command line here. So basically it's asking you for your first point so you can click anywhere in the drawing window here and you can specify your next point just by dragging it out. Uh, you can also type in a value such as 5 and then it'll make a uh, length 5 line for you. With the line command it'll keep drawing lines until you tell it uh, that you're done. So if you just keep clicking around the workspace here you can keep drawing lines to your heart's content basically and if you're still going and you want to close uh, a shape you can use the close command down here you can also undo the last line you've drawn just by typing undo that'll bring you back to your last point uh, if you type close that'll close off your shape right there you can also exit from any command a number of ways. You can hit the enter button, you can right click and bring up uh, the command here on the right click menu and just hit enter or cancel. You can also hit the escape key so there's or the spacebar key so there's a number of ways to exit out of any command. Okay, now that you know how to use the line command, uh, what you'll notice is when you hover your cursor over these individual lines, they are uh, individual objects that you can select and delete as you see fit. Uh, the next command, which is called polyline, is very similar to the line command. Is you just kind of uh, click points and uh, create a shape as you uh, see fit. But when you're done with the polyline command, you'll notice that the entire object is one solid object. So if you click on it and delete it, it's uh, all the lines act as if they're joined together. Once uh, you do create a polyline, they are able to use a lot of the modifier commands such as offset or copy or mirror, uh, which you're not able to really use for the individual line commands. So if you go up here to offset, uh, which is a very useful tool, um, you can specify your offset distance. So we'll type in a value of let's say 0.5 and then you select an object to offset. Now you can either click on the inside or the outside of the object and it'll create an exact copy um, which is offset exactly 0.5 from the original. If you were to do that with a line, it would just offset one single line and not the entire shape. So the polyline command is definitely very useful in creating editable shapes. So some of the uh, controls in AutoCAD LT, if you use your scroll wheel on your mouse, you can zoom in and out of your workspace. Uh, you can also use the little hand tool down here to basically grab your workspace and move it around as you see fit. You can just hit escape to uh, get out of that menu. If you zoom in and you realize you're not in the right area, you can hit the command Z, which is zoom, 
and then you have a lot of different options down here you can center it or um, scale it as you see fit I use um, the E command which is for extents quite often which will basically zoom your workspace to the very outer edges of whatever you've drawn so far AutoCAD LT also features a lot of powerful object drawing uh, techniques similar to what you'd use uh, in manual drafting except much much easier you can see some of these uh, arc commands uh, we also have circle commands, rectangle, and much, much more. So what I'm going to show you is a different way to draw some regions using AutoCAD LT. So we'll start with a rectangle here. We'll specify our first corner point, and then it basically just draws out a rectangle uh, to your next corner point. You just hit the mouse button again, and boom, you're done. Now let's say we uh, want to create a... Uh, a circular hole through this uh, block here. So we'll specify our center point for our circle. We'll draw out um, the correct radius and then click again and there we are. So now these uh, two objects are two separate objects. You can see as I'm clicking on them they are uh, not joined at all. What we can do is create what's called a region out of these objects. So we'll type in the region command and we'll just select all of these and hit enter. And what that does is basically creates area information for both of these objects. Uh, we can then use uh, the subtract command. So we'll type in subtract and it'll ask us to select an object. So we want to subtract this circle from this block. So we'll select um, the block as our first object, then we'll hit enter, and this says select regions to subtract. We'll then uh, click on our circle and hit enter again. Now if you notice when I highlight uh, this object, it is one solid object now with a uh, circular hole through the center of the block. This will affect um, area information of uh, your new region. Now you can also use a cool command that's called union, very similar to subtract except it's the reverse. So we'll draw another circle right about here. I'll create a region out of it and then we can use the union command. So you just type in union I'll uh, we'll select our objects here, select both of these and just hit enter and there you go, it creates uh, one solid object out of your circle and your block here. Okay, now that you've seen some of the uh, basic object drawing commands, I'm going to show you uh, one of the new commands in AutoCAD LT 2010 that is uh, just great and will really help you um, to create uh, your drawings much much faster. Uh, this is called the align command. It's brand new for 2010 so all you have to do is type in align and it'll ask you to select your objects. So what we want to do is align this object with this face of this object. So we want to select the object that we'd like to move. So we'll select the block here We'll hit enter and it's going to ask for your first source point. Uh, we want to align this bottom uh, face of this object here um, with this face on this object. So our first source point we'll select is this bottom left corner and it'll ask you for your destination point. So we want to line that up with this edge here. Um, now it's going to ask for your second source point. We'll click right here on the bottom right corner and then we'll click the right edge of this face and it's going to ask you if you want to specify a third point. We don't, so we'll just hit enter and then it's going to say scale objects based on alignment points. Um, we want to scale uh, this edge to be the length of this edge, so we'll hit yes and just like that it slides right into place right where we like it there. So if you'd like to join our new aligned objects here, first uh, we'll just make a region out of our old uh, polyline. So we'll select this object, hit enter, and then we'll just use the union command once again. Uh, select our two objects, hit enter, and there you go. You have one continuous shape drawn in just a few minutes uh, using the new align tool. Pretty cool. So hopefully these tips will help you get started drawing right away with the new AutoCAD LT 2010. Again, this is Kevin with SoftwareMedia.com. We'll see you next time.